Hey team, Curtis here with another quick tip video in Primavera. Today we're going to talk about the print preview screen and some of the options in there and how to successfully print out a schedule in the printer or to print out a PDF for your weekly trade partner um, emails. Um, on this main page here, just something to note before you go into your print settings is under view here. Um, if you remember back in some of the other videos, we talked about making sure that you're working in the project view, not on a personal or a standard view, but in the project view that you made. That's an important step in printing because this controls some of your print preview settings. So just double check that and make sure that you're in that view before you go into your uh, print preview area. Once you confirm that, click on this print button and it will pull up. The print preview page. Um, on this page you'll see um, the content of your schedule as well as some headers and footers. Um, if you're successfully using the projects view um, you shouldn't have any issues with your headers and footers changing on you. If you do notice that you're constantly battling with these um, items here reverting back to settings or bringing in details from some other um, person who's working on a schedule, it's most likely because you're not working in a project view. So check that, edit that as you need to. Um, once you get your headers and footers set the way that you need to, you brought in your logo earlier on when you started your project, you updated your content on the bottom. The last thing to do is to edit this main content here on the page um, for the Gantt view itself. If you click on the edit content button, you'll see on the right hand side, you have some options over here to play around with. Um, data date lines, relationship lines, all these things are relevant only to the print preview page and it doesn't have any impact on the actual schedule itself. So if you want to, for the purposes of printing, want to turn, say, your arrows for your relationship lines off, you can turn them off just on this screen for printing ability, which is kind of a nice feature. If you don't want to see them, just click them off. Um, if you don't want to see your data date line, which is over here on the far right hand side of my schedule, you can turn that off as well. Um, columns, you can selectively pick which columns you want to display for printing only. So in my schedule here, I do have quite a bit of columns active on the working view, but maybe I don't want to print those off on the print view and all I want to see is the name, the plan duration, start and finish. I can just turn those on and turn the rest of them off to clean it up over here. So that's another feature you can do on this page. And then most importantly, under the time scale section, you can control uh, your viewing size for your time scale. In this example, I'm in a month week view. Maybe on the working Gantt chart view, you like to work in the week day view, which displays all the days of the week, but maybe it's too large to fit on one page for the print view. So you can go to a different view here and the print view only. And then the other important thing, which is a little bit different than the way Fast Track used to be, the start and end dates are controlled here on this page rather than on the main page. And all these simply are is just controlling uh, your window and time that you're looking at. It has no relevance to the schedule itself. It's just what you actually want to see. So set these dates within the parameters of what you want to show on the schedule. Typically, this would be the start and finish date of your job. If you want to dial in to a little bit more tighter timeline, you can adjust that here. Or they do have a cool feature here called rolling dates that you can check. And you can set some parameters here um, for um, maybe three weeks at a time. Um, it'll continue to just to show those three weeks on your schedule. Um, that's just up to you how you want to do that. The basic method would just be to enter your dates in like this. Here I messed it up a little bit with mess with playing around. Um, I'll click back to that start date. Um, so this is how you control it is on this page. Once you're happy with everything, press the return preview button. It'll bring you back to this main settings page where you can control your paper size, etc. Uh, most of the time you want to be printing in tabloid. And then once you're ready to confirm and you like the way this looks here, press the print button. Um, I'm currently working in Chrome and you'll see I have some settings here preloaded with color black and white. Um, if you're noticing that you're missing some content on this page, just check your more settings section here. Make sure that your background graphics are turned on. If you don't have these turned on, you'll see something that looks like this. Um, in order to get that to come back, you gotta click the background graphics box and it'll bring back the colors on your page. When you're happy with how everything looks, you can choose to either go to a printer or you can save directly to a PDF on this page here. 
Um, you can print directly from this page, unlike other program that we used to have. Um, it does print successfully directly from the program. You don't need to make a PDF first. So pick whichever one you want to do. If you pick PDF, um, you'll be prompted with uh, saving into a location. Just save it to the appropriate job folder, and then you can get it from there. Um, but that is the basics on how to print a project from the print settings in Primavera. Thanks, guys.